we've been helping a lot of people out with a lot of planning related things such as retirement. We have a number of people who are getting early buyout offers from various companies, so helping them analyze pension distributions, what to do with 401k accounts. We have a new piece of software that we've been implementing. It's called eMoney that helps people get their lives organized. eMoney, from my tradition as we branded it, have been nice things and different softwares to kind of make things more seamless on the technology side. Obviously becoming very, very important these days. Estate planning, we're finding a lot of holes in people's plans where beneficiaries are not up to speed or ownership issues are not up to speed. If you have children over 18, you have to make sure that your children have power of attorneys and health care directives. Once they're over 18, you cannot make medical decisions for them. The top five companies on the S&P 500 are 23% of the index and 37% of the growth index. So uh, we want everybody to understand what they own in their 401k plans, what they own for bonds, what they own for stocks. Latest documents that come out, the COVID numbers, um, the stock market numbers, small caps, mid caps, international. So yeah, there's been a lot to do here. After almost uh, nearly 30 years in this, uh, there's no real roadmap on how to uh, deal with people and volatility in the market, but uh, uh, we're both getting a lot of gray hair because of it. All right, hi everybody, Eric Hendrickson. Tradition Mortgage is giving you uh, a little bit of an update on what we have going on over on the mortgage side of the house. Um, it's been busy. Actually, it's insanely busy. I've never experienced any, anything like this in 27 years in lending, um, anywhere near this extent. I mean, we keep crashing through uh, record closing numbers. Uh, in August here, we're gonna be pushing right up against 600. Uh, the last few months, just, uh, it's really been uh, tremendous. It, it uh, is to the point where, um, you know, you just, you just wanna try to hang on, and I, I have to tip my cap to our operational staff for uh, handling the, this just surge of, of business that comes in. But, you know, everybody from, from the, the front end sales to the um, post close shipping, everybody's been doing their part. And uh, just, it's really amazing uh, to see uh, the success everybody's having. It's truly a, a, a blessed time from, from that standpoint. I know there's tons of challenges with the uh, the virus uh, issues going around, but everybody is really uh, continuing to perform at a high level. So really the news from the mortgage side is that uh, we've, we've weathered the storm and uh, we've kind of risen above it. And, um, you know, we're just gonna keep it going. Things have been busy all the way through the, from the first of the year going from May of last year. And, you know, when COVID hit, we thought that things were gonna kind of slow down a little bit. Nobody knew where everyone was gonna be going with their finances. and people getting furloughed and rates dropped again and everybody was like, you're an essential company, <laughs> you need to close our loan for us. And so we continue to stay busy. We never thought that we would be this busy. To date, we have taken in almost 3,200 orders, which is record breaking orders coming in. And it's not just right now, it's not just the refinances. The, the purchases are going through the roof too. Um, even with the housing market as it is, there's a, a shortage in houses for sale. So we're seeing people that are coming through with multiple offers I actually had one come through where the buyer paid the seller's closing costs because they wanted the house that bad. Um, last year for a total of closings, we did 2,500 roughly. We are already at 2300 that we've closed so far this year and that doesn't include any of the duels which when you consider a dual transaction it's actually closing two sides two closings and right now that number is probably around 600 so um, we're already close to 3,000 closings this year so far I feel that with our staff we are just continuing to be the best that we can be we still remain number one with our underwriter and they are very, very pleased with the number of orders that we've got going on through here. Housing has been very strong. So uh, our mortgage warehouse side of the bank is growing like crazy. And that's part of with Tradition Mortgage seeing a lot of business. We're kind of the beneficiaries of that from the warehouse side of things. But then also the construction side is very busy dealing with uh, the consumers who are building homes, but then also the, the builders and developers. Uh, we thought that they would slow down and actually it's kind of gone the other way and they're they're very, very busy, lots are selling, 
new developments are starting and it looks like housing is going to continue to be strong. So that's really helped carry the bank. Uh, and then we, we did a lot of the PPP loans for a lot of businesses, a lot of customers uh, in the second quarter and those funds are kind of getting used throughout the, the third quarter here. So that was great for our customers. A lot of them are, that's helped actually grow deposits as well because they're the beneficiaries of getting some of those PPP funds in and allowed them to hold on to people. And now the second part of the year will be helping them with the, the forgiveness of those loans and getting those processed for them, which will be good. We feel really good about where we're at position wise. Some of the competition still is a little uncertain and maybe not as excited to lend and do new deals and we're, we're out there looking for opportunities. So we feel really strong about the, the second half of the year and the third quarter and fourth quarter here.